Hello. So I'm going to look at the sum and product of the quadratic roots. Sum and product of the quadratic roots. Okay, so suppose we have a quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And suppose the roots of this equation are alpha and beta. How do they relate in terms of the sum and the product? So what to investigate this? So we use completing the square method. So that we get to the basic quadratic formula and then use it to see how the roots are going to relate. So we start AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero. And I factor out A of X squared plus BX uh, over A uh, plus C over A. And so in this case, I'm not going to use the, the zero immediately. So I want to treat this as an expression. So what I have is this, and then I have A, uh, x squared uh, plus b over a x and then I'm going to get the half of b over a which is going to be b over 2a then I'll square it and subtract and subtract it in the same form then from there I'll get x squared, so I'm not getting x squared, I'm just getting x plus the b over 2a. So I leave out this part because if I expand this, I'll get these three terms. So it's fine, I can leave it. And then I have b squared, 4a squared plus c over a, close bracket, so that if I expand throughout, I'm going to get a x plus b over 2a squared minus b squared over 4a plus c. So I now get back my equation, uh, which was equated to zero. So uh, what do I do? So now I'm saying a x squared plus b x plus c is equal to zero. And I know that the left hand side is the same as this. So I'm getting a x plus b over 2a squared minus b squared over 4a plus c is equal to zero. And then I can take this whole part to the other side. So I have a x plus b over 2a squared is equal to b squared over 4a minus c. So I divide by a, I divide by a. So what we have is x plus b over 2a squared is equal to b squared minus ac. Uh, so let me just say b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. And then we get the square root, the square root. So what we have is x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus the root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 
And when I say 2a is because the root of 4 is 2, and the root of a squared is a, so that we have x is equal to negative b over 2a plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And this can be written as x is equal to negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac, everything over 2a. So now we have these two roots, x. Uh, so we have these two roots now, x is equal to negative b plus b squared minus 4ac over 2a, or x is equal to negative b minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So suppose we name the first one as alpha. So as alpha and the second one as beta. Can we get their sum? So the sum, we have the common denominator 2a and we get that minus 4ac minus the b minus b squared minus 4ac. So you notice that this part and that part are canceling. And so what we have is negative 2b over 2a, which is just giving us negative b over a. And so the sum of the roots of the quadratic equation, alpha plus beta, is just equal to negative b over a. So let's see the product. So I have negative b plus b squared minus 4ac over 2a multiplied by negative b minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So what do we get? The denominator is going to be 4a squared and the numerator b squared um, plus b root of b squared minus 4ac minus b uh, root of b squared minus 4ac um, and then we get minus b squared minus 4ac so this comes from multiplying uh, from applying this root uh, by this one. And so what next? Uh, we have a b squared surface. Uh, you notice that uh, this one and this one are canceling. And then on the right there, we have made with minus b squared plus 4ac. And then we have 4a squared. And again, here we see that uh, this one and this one, we get zero and we remain with 4ac over 2a squared can be written as two by a by a. So this a and that a, this two in there, it gives us two. I mean, so down here we have a four, not a two, sorry. So we have 4ac over four, by a by a, so that uh, this a takes away that a, this four takes away the four, so we remain with c over a. So what we are saying now is that the sum of a quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero, is given by negative b over a, and the product is given by c over a. So if we have an example, suppose we say find the sum and product of uh, and product uh, of the following uh, 
Okay, so let's say the product of the roots of the following quadratic equations without solving for the roots. So A, uh, so I want to use equations, not functions. So 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. So our target is to identify what is our A. So our A is 3, our B is 4, and our C is 1. Then you bring in the formula. So we know that the sum is Uh, negative b over a, so we have negative 4 over 3, and the product is going to be c over a, so we have 1 over 3. So if you have another one, let's say um, 5x squared plus 11x minus 4 is equal to 0. So again, we have alpha plus beta is going to be negative b over a and alpha beta c over a. So what is, uh, what is a? a is 5, b is 11, and c is negative 4. So we have alpha plus beta is equal to negative 11 over 5 and alpha beta is equal to negative four over five. So you can try to find these roots and see if when you add them, you get the actual roots. So let's try, so let's do a sample, sample test. So we get the roots of this equation. Okay, so we can use the product. Uh, here is three, uh, the sum is four, so the factors, can be three and one. So we can write this as three X squared uh, plus three X plus X plus one is zero. So that we get three X, uh, X plus one plus one, X plus one. So we have X plus one and three X plus one. So that the roots, we have X is negative one and x is equal to negative 1 over 3. So suppose we say alpha is negative 1 and beta negative 1 over 3. So let's get alpha plus beta. So we're going to have negative 1 plus negative 1 over 3, which is the same as 3, negative 3 minus 1, which is minus 4 over 3. And this is what we got here as the sum, even if we didn't know what the roots were. And so you can do the same for the product. What is alpha beta? It is negative one by negative one over three. This is just one over three, and which is what we got exactly here, even if we didn't know what the roots were. So this is where the alpha plus beta and the alpha beta, uh, so this is where the sum and the product of the roots of the quadratic equation do come from. So do repeat this and please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Thank you for watching.